Hello guys, in this episode I show you how to create a special look in Lightroom for your portraits or wedding. Here is the before and here is the after. Come and join me. Bonjour, my name is Sergio Amélie, I'm a French photographer living in Paris, France and welcome to episode 45 of my photography Lightroom and Photoshop tips. Last week episode I showed you how to add drama to a photo. I went a bit overboard, but I kind of like the result. This is the before and this is the after. Check out this episode if you like this type of technique. This week, I want to answer some mails I got from people doing wedding shoots or portrait. They want to know if it's possible to create nice vintage type of effect in Lightroom and in Lightroom only. And that's exactly what I'm gonna show you. Not only I'm gonna show you how to create a vintage effect, but I'm gonna show you how to create a preset so you can use it over and over and check out if it works on a photo. And we're gonna create three presets, a warm one, a cold one, and a mix of warm and cold. So let me show you how this is done. All right, guys, so uh, today's, we're gonna do a tutorial on giving a vintage look to your photo and also on how to uh, use that as a preset. The whole idea is that uh, when you do weddings photos or when you do portraits, one thing that I've seen that a lot of people seems to like is a vintage look and or, you know, very specific, uh, special effect type of look. And one of the key thing about that is color cast. A color cast is, uh, is having a color which is going to be dominant in the, in the photo. It's going to be like a, a, a main color, either warm or, you know, or cold. And you know, like Instagram type of photos are very warm or very cold and very contrasty. And anyways, special effect and special type of looks uh, are pretty successful these days. And I wanna show you how you can achieve at least one type of look uh, in Lightroom in a very easy way and use that as a preset to try it out with some of your portrait photos. So let's start with this basic photo, couple kissing on the beach. Uh, and I'm just gonna open up the shadows a little bit and turn down the highlights. I don't do it as much as I usually do because I want to make a preset. I want to be, this to be an, an average that I want to be able to check and use on other photos. Uh, then I'm going to add some clarity. So far, so good. So far, so good. And um, one thing I'm going to do, and that's the whole trick about this. The whole trick about this is, is um, here, split toning. What is split toning? Split toning is basically you've got two settings, highlights and shadows. The whole idea is that you're gonna put a color into the highlights and you're gonna put a color into the shadows. Now, how do you put a color? Well, you just click here on the colors. Now I'm gonna go for a warm feeling to this photo. So I'm gonna take a warm color, like something like that. That's pretty warm, that's cool. So you see everything which is highlighted here has a warm color. Okay, that's really what we could call a color cast. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the shadows. I'm gonna take a warm color. Yeah, something like that, something very warm. So it's a very warm color. Now, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lower the saturation on the highlights here. See, more you get into the saturation, more the highlights, the color cast is vivid for the highlights. We don't want that. We want a color cast. We don't want the photo to be sepia or yellow. Same thing for this. I just turn down the saturation and uh, check it out uh, before and after. You see how I gave like a color cast to it, like an oldish yellow color cast to it. Now I'm gonna add a bit of vibrance, okay, to make it a bit stronger and I'm gonna lower a bit of saturation. Uh, so you add vibrance and you lower saturation. It's kind of weird, okay, um, maybe, I think it's lacking a bit of color cast. So you know what? I'm gonna go back to the split toning and um, get a bit of more saturation here and a, a bit more saturation there in the highlights and in the shadows. Maybe a little bit more in the highlights, something like that. I mean, you do it until you've got the, the, the warm look that you like. Now, if you wanna give like an, a vintage feeling to your photo, two things you can do. You can uh, you, I don't like it so much, but I know it's been popular, is grain. You can add grain. You can add like 25 of grain. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but it's all grainy, like the old film, you know. You can 
put as much grain as you want, very strong or not very strong. And then also post crop vignetting, adding a post crop vignetting is really part of the show. And in no time, you've got to look, you know, this is where we came from. If I do the backslash key, and this is where we are, you know, an old vintage look. Um, so uh, I think I'm a bit undersaturated. I think I'm going to get some saturation back. I want a warm feeling to this, maybe add a bit more. I mean, you just do it to your taste. But when I tested it earlier, I think I added a bit more saturation. Yeah, in the in the uh, here in the shadows and in the highlights. So, OK, so we've got one look now. That's just a look, you know, it's uh, and it's very easy. If you've created it, you know how to make it stronger or make it, you know, because you know exactly what settings you've used. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this as a preset. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to call this warm uh, look. OK, and I'm going to put this in the folder. I created a folder called photo search. All my presets uh, for this series is going to go in photo search. OK, now auto settings, I do not select auto tone because I prefer the way I have done my highlights and shadows where I was a bit mid range, you know, so I'm going to create the look. OK, and uh, now I'm going to do a cold look. So I'm going to keep everything that I've done so far, but now I'm going to change my split toning. So I'm going to go into the highlights and make this uh, very warm and go into the shadows and make this very cool. Actually, you know what? I'm going to make a mixed of both. I'm going to make the highlights warm and, um, actually the opposite. I'm going to make the highlights warm and I'm going to make the shadows cold. Okay. It's a mix of both. That's also one look that you have. Uh, so I'm going to make this a bit lower, a bit less saturated and maybe this a bit less saturated. So we've got we've got another look. So let me use this as a preset. So this time I'm still in photo surge. I'm going to call this mixed, warm and cold. That's the name of my preset and create. And then I'm going to create one more. I'm going to create one more, which is going to be a pure cold. All I'm going to do is change the highlights and make them warm. OK, and turn down the saturation. So now I've got a pure cold look. So I have got warm, I've got cold and I've got mixed. So I'm going to go into the preset and I'm going to call this cold look. OK, so we've got three looks. Now, if I go in my photo search, which is here, I can just click warm look. I can just get cold look and mixed warm and cold. And I can decide which one I like the most. And I can take another photo here, for example, which is an, another portrait which has not been retouched at all. And I can go cold look. I can go mixed up warm and cold. And I can go warm look alone. And on this one, for example, I like the warm look. So that's just a starting point. Then, of course, I would go, you know, here there's a flash. So I would, you know, take the crop tool, get the flash out of the way. Uh, maybe, you know, take a brush, uh, boost the exposure, you know, and just add a bit more exposure on their face or something, you know. And uh, and voila. And in one second, I, you know, retouch and gave a very strong look to a portrait or a photo. Check the before and the after in one second. See how uh, and uh, so I think that's a very powerful trick, guys, because you can really, you know, in no time uh, check, uh, you know, how the looks are doing and what's going to work and what's not going to work. And presets are amazing. I'm actually going to make a whole bunch of presets that I'm going to sell on my website in the next week. So you can buy these ones. There will be even some secrets to them. There'll be a bit more, not exactly like that, but I just wanted to give the basics of the, uh, of the thing because I get lots of emails from people doing wedding shots or portrait and they want to give a, a special look in Lightroom. And well, the trick of special look is a split toning here. That's the secret. Okay. If you like this type of, web, of training, go to my website, photosearch.com, which you'll find the link everywhere in the video on this video. And on this link, you will find all my training. I've got uh, uh, three packages, which is all my Lightroom 4 training for $25 instead of $30. That is almost six hours of training to learn Lightroom. 
and uh, I go into all kind of tricks and I give you all the raw files so you can really see from the start to the end uh, what exactly it is. Then I've got a whole Photoshop training. And if you are starting and you want to learn Photoshop, I advise you, you see, there is always two types of training that I have. I've got the quick start training and I've got the retouching training. Now, if you don't know software, start by the quick start. The quick start, whether it is Photoshop or Lightroom, is going to give you the basic of the software, a sort of very, you know, couple of hours overview. Uh, I try to explain things in the most simple way possible. And then the retouching, whether, whether it is Photoshop retouching or Lightroom retouching, is going to be it's just specific projects from start to the end. I give you the raw file and I show you how I retouched it. Voila. And then you've got the special big package, a 30% discount, the best deal ever, $63 instead of $90. You've got all my training. And uh, well, if you buy this one, it does help me produce this free podcast for you. So thank you very much and for your support. And let's get back to the studio. Okay, so I hope you liked that episode. I think it's very fun to do to play around with presets. Now, I want to make a deal with you guys. If you share this podcast to your friends on your Facebook, Google+, whatever you have, or T-shirt, or, you know, signboards, whatever you have, that'd be nice because it helps me grow. And in exchange, send me a little email. This is my email now. And I will send you for free all these three presets so you can play around with your own portraits and your own wedding photos or whatever you have that you want to play with. Thank you very much for being there and I'll see you next week. Wow.